terminal to shift gears and of course look at what has been happening in the world of business and of course you know for sure that uh, business around Nairobi uh, city centre was completely disrupted uh, even as we speak now you don't have uh, so much business activities taking place there and for sure you know that uh, Nairobi is the economic as well as diplomatic and political heartbeat of the region and so when uh, the uh, uh, challenges in Nairobi you do expect the economy of the country and, and as well as the regional economy to bear some feelings. And now joining me in studio is George Mboro. He's the CEO of Mizizi. He's a businessman. He knows how it feels when the economy is not performing so well. He's about to share with us his insight on what is happening and of course probably maybe give solutions as to how the issues should be dealt with. Thank you very much, George, for joining us this uh, uh, afternoon. I first of all want to hear from you as a business man and, and, and as a means and as a member of the business community in Kenya, uh, how has this day affected uh, your operations? Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, with your question, for sure, uh, some parts of uh, town, CBD especially, mm -hmm. we have seen people have uh, shied away from opening up uh, their businesses. And this is because of the expected chaos that come with the... Uh, with the the, the call for people to, to do the rioting and uh, I, I mean to do the peaceful demonstrations. So we have seen people have shied away from opening their businesses and uh, that is to avoid uh, having the losses. So I think people have taken precaution, which is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it is better you close and lose the business for the day rather than you open and uh, the goods are taken away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's also proper to say that uh, it is not the entire Nairobi County that was affected by, sure. by, 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 by these disturbances. Of course, we had some pockets yeah. mm -hmm. where business was taking place. Do you have any idea where? Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, actually, apart from uh, the few shops that have been closed in the CBD, the majority of the other areas, things are moving on as mm -hmm. usual. We have not had uh, any major businesses closing down because of uh, the call. And uh, we are happy because we have seen for sure people what, uh, what people want is uh, to do business. And what we are calling upon is that conducive environment for the, for the business people. Because everybody, including, uh, including the government itself, has a big interest with business. Because when uh, business is doing well, uh, basically the economy is doing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we know that Nairobi is the economic as well as the diplomatic and political heartbeat of this country. Yeah. Uh, what do you think will happen if um, this situation was to prevail? Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the good thing, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what will happen in the days to come, is that uh, these protests have been uh, planned not only here in Kenya, as you have reported, mm -hmm. it is also happening in South Africa. It is also happening in uh, Tunisia. It is also happening in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So it means... It's uh, also happening in France. Also in France, and yeah. uh, you have mentioned also England. Yeah. So I think uh, basically uh, the people who they want, the governments is to hear, is that the people have the say. So basically I think uh, for today, when we look at it from the broader perspective, I, I think uh, there's a message that, that is being passed uh, by uh, actually what now the media should be able to report is uh, by who exactly and what is a, what is a message. But we know uh, basically uh, in Kenya, the young people uh, they have been crying because of lack of jobs and uh, I don't know why that is uh, if that is the case for the whole uh, the, the, the entire countries that are protesting but we know in Kenya there have been that uh, problem of uh, young people not having jobs uh, which is something that uh, uh, the politicians mostly have taken advantage of because we basically know a hungry man is an angry man so hungry man is very easy to provoke to anger uh, using emotions so uh, if it is the case of having the young people to get uh, employment or to have their food on the table, that is what we need to address. Because for sure we know Africa and Africans, we have a majority of the population being young people. And when the young people are not uh, uh, engaged economically, you find that there, are, there, there is a lot of idleness. You also find there is a lot of uh, 
anger because a hungry man is an angry man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you see, um, at least uh, it's proper to say that uh, in many parts of Nairobi, I mean, industrial area, mm -hmm. you know, companies were, were, were afraid of opening. Sure. Uh, Nairobi CBD, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's businesses have been closed sure. um, and it's likely to take probably maybe a few days before now we can resume uh, uh, normalcy. Sure. What impact would this have on your businesses as, sure. as a business community? Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, you will find that uh, the person that is affected the most, most of the time, is uh, the person that is on the lowest on the, of the pyramid. Because, for example, the example you have given for industrial area, the people who are not going to get uh, their, their pay are the people who are on the casual, casual labor, the casual laborers. Because you'll find that uh, the management or people who are employed in the management, they are paid uh, per month. And uh, if you are not in a position to get to the job, mm -hmm. for sure, you'll still be paid because you have a good, very good mm -hmm. and understandable reason. But uh, that casual laborer who gets their, their pay on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. those are the people that are going to be affected the most. Mm -hmm. So when there's this uh, fracas, the people that get hurt the most are the people that are the lowest of, of, the, of the food chain. And those are the people that we need to really protect. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the message to the opposition as well to, as to the government? Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my call to the government is uh, to listen to the young people. The young people are crying and the problem is very simple. We need to align the, the chain, the distribution chain. You find that uh, at times uh, people that are uh, doing the manufacturing, they manufacture, let's say, in India or uh, in China, they come still sell to the people. We need to go back to the, the chain of distribution which we were used to when we were young people. Like you know, like if it's a farmer, a farmer takes their, their products to a, B, C, D. Then A, B, C, D takes it to A, B, C, D so that we get more people into the job market because that is a, basically the problem. If yeah. we get people to the job market, mm -hmm. for sure the government will have an easy time because there will be no young people who are going to be uh, to be used to, to do the, the, the picketing because everybody will be again uh, fully engaged. And it's not a lot of money. People are looking for just uh, to have a food on your table. And for the opposition, I also want to encourage them to have a sitting, if uh, it is the interest of the common man, to have a sitting with the, with the president and the government so that we can come with a solution for the young people. And by so doing, everybody will have a conducive environment for working. And by so doing, we are going to grow our economy. And that very is well. what we want. Very good. Yeah. George Mboro, thank you very much, of sure. course. And thank we you. hope Pleasure. that your sentiments um, will be acted upon. Thank you. Otherwise, uh, we hope um, that the situation will go back to normal so sure. that uh, the business community can continue to thrive. Sure. Asante for joining us. Enjoy Thank your you afternoon.